Hello LGs, ladies and gents, this is The Lady. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I wanted to come in and share with you guys this unit I'm wearing. Well, it's really not about the unit. It's about how I applied the unit. As you can see, you guys, it looks like it is glued down to my head, but it's not, okay? I only have a little bit of gel around the hairline just to camouflage because this is my full silk top. And so what I was trying to, what I've been trying to do for a while is to figure out a way to apply my full thin skin units like this without actually putting tape or liquid adhesive on my skin to keep it on my head. Okay. So what I did, you guys, is I went out and I purchased this some thigh highs okay these are thigh highs and just your regular everyday thigh high stockings and what I did was this thigh high piece right here comes with silicone and this is what the silicone looks like okay it's very um, rubbery um, it's not sticky but it does you know cling to your skin and so, you know, I was thinking, well, why can't I cut this like this one? Okay, I took this one. This is the same kind of material, uh, a stocking, that I took and I cut off the stocking piece. And, um, and of course, my concentration is the silicone. So what I did was I cut the stocking off like this and I applied it with the glue I use the Invisibon adhesive you guys but not on my skin I put the Invisibon around the lace of the stocking and I just put it very liberally around the hairline of the stocking okay and then I applied let me just show you guys as I'm talking, I'm gonna get my mannequin. So what I did was I put the stocking, you guys can see her, I put the stocking on the uh, Diane, okay? Now what's important is you wanna make sure your mannequin head is the same measurements as your head, okay? Diane has a smaller head than I do, uh, which is why you'll see I have, you know, this piece of brown paper um, in the front here. So I took Diane, placed the, um, the stocking cap, <coughs> placed the stocking cap with the silicone on it, on her head, and then I went around the hairline of the stocking and just liberally applied this Invisibon glue, okay? I put that on and I just let it sit, you guys. Um, I want to say it sat for probably half an hour before it actually turned clear because this is cloth, all right? And it took it a while for it to turn clear. Once it turned clear, I then applied, and I'm just going to get a, a just a regular wig, you guys. I then applied my unit. I'm just using this one as a demonstration because this is the only one I've done. I wasn't sure if it was going to turn out, so I didn't film it, and I apologize for that. But once this cleared, then I put the unit on the stocking with the silicone, okay, or the stocking. You don't want your stocking to be showing at all. And so that's what I did is I just went in and I lined it up with the stocking so the stocking won't be seen. And then I took another, like you see I have several of these cut. And I just took another one of these and put it around the unit, okay? I wanted to make sure that the wig bonded with the silicone stocking cap. And I let that sit overnight, you guys. I only did the front because I just wanted to test it to see if it would work. And you guys, all right, you see this? 
This is not glued to my head. It is glued to the silicone that I'm wearing. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. And because the stocking cap is more of a, like a cookie cutter kind of uh, look, it doesn't actually blend or match the curves and dips and curves that I have on my unit. That's why this piece does not sit on the silicone piece, okay? But this part in the front is sitting perfectly. And this silicone, you guys, is on my head nice and tight. I've had it on all day and, um, and I can feel it, okay? I can feel that I have the silicone. It's not slipping, it's not slipping, it's not sliding. Um, it's staying put. I have to, uh, because I'm not used to it and because, you know, I'm making sure that the wig is definitely on the silicone, um, the silicone wig cap. I have to, you know, check every now and then just to make sure my wig hasn't slipped off because I do feel the silicone, but I don't feel the wig, okay? And so because of that, I, you know, I just make sure my <laughs> my wig isn't lifting from the silicone, but it hasn't lifted, you guys. And like I said, I've had it on all day. Um, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon now, and it's it's not going anywhere. Okay, so this is a way. Now it's it's a little bit of work. Okay, now it took me a little bit of work to get it on, simply because the back wasn't adhered with the uh, silicone wig cap, and um, and because of that, I had to maneuver the wig cap on the back of my head. So now what I'm going to do for you guys is show you, I'm going to remove it and then I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. It's almost like installing the uh, elastic band, but this is a silicone. Okay. Now I don't have hair at all underneath. As a matter of fact, I just shaved my head uh, the, what, a night, the night before. And because of that, this silicone is really gripping my head, okay? So that's another reason it's not going anywhere. If you have hair, um, if you have hair underneath the silicone, the silicone is designed to be for those of us who have no hair. It grips the skin, okay? It needs that skin-to-skin -skin contact. So if you have hair, if you have hair, then you want to make sure that you pull your hair back as as much as possible, slick it back, gel it down, whatever you have to do to get that silicone to be in contact with your skin in front of your hairline, okay? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take off the unit so you guys can see that it is not glued down to my skin at all. This right here is just the gel. So now that I have removed that, what place that water to remove the gel and my makeup, now I can just lift. You can see I can just lift my unit straight off my head. And there you go, you guys. All right, so this is what it looks like now. You can see this part right here, these other sides, they're not glued down. I did not put glue in this area, and that's why it's not glued down. But I can go in now, because now I know it works. I can go in now and put the glue all the way around the unit. But this is how it looks in the front, you guys. It is stuck very nicely. The front is laid down really nice. Now, what I had to do to get this on was a little bit of work because, like I said, this piece right here is not glued down to this piece down here. Okay, so you can see how that is. So you want to make sure, if you do it this way, okay, you want to make sure you grip the front because you want to make that, you want to make sure that stays uh, here down with the wig. 
where the you want to grip it so that you know you don't pull the silicone stocking away from the unit and so like I put on all my wigs I put my wigs on in the front first put that down and then I just take my finger underneath and grab that that wig cap so I just want to hold this piece with this hand and go in and grab the wig cap because it's going to be on the top of your head and you just maneuver that wig cap down let me show you guys okay so I'm just taking it and just bringing it down Hold that, go and get this piece, bring it down, and once I have that in place, now I'm ready to put my wig all the way on. Okay, and there you go. The wig is back on my head. got a nice good seal again you saw that I had just shaving my head so oh, my makeup uh, you can see that I just shaved my head so this silicone is really gripping to my skin really well takes a little bit of work because like I said that silicone takes a little bit of work because that silicone really is gripping to to my skin all right, so that's it, you guys. That's how I apply silicone to my wig to keep my wig on my head, okay? So now I can just um, feel comfortable knowing that this application will work for me if I wanted to not use glue or tape to seal around the hairline, if I did not want to use uh, tape or glue on my skin. But there's a lot of people out there who want to wear wigs, but they don't want to adhere it down on their skin. And this is just one way I thought would work. Okay. Okay. So let me know what you think about this method. And uh, if you have any suggestions on uh, another way to keep your units on without the glue or the tape touching your skin. Okay. Well, this is the lady signing off for now. Be blessed and a blessing, and I'll see you guys on my next video real soon. Bye-bye.